Hi there, this video looks at a particular geometry question and helps us with strategies to answer other geometry questions. So if we have a look at the picture that we are given, we can already start to remember some of our prior geometry knowledge. Maybe you're thinking about vertically opposite angles because you can see straight lines are intersecting. Remember vertically opposite angles can be in any shape around two straight lines and so probably a wise thing to do is to turn your picture from time to time to see some shapes. We also have straight lines so the angles on a straight line will not be the same but they will add up to 180 degrees and I also notice that I've got a triangle so I remember that the interior angles of a triangle equal to 180. These are just the thoughts going through my mind when I see this picture. They tell me that I'm given that the lines are parallel. They actually didn't need to tell this to me because they have marked it on the picture so I can see it there. They won't normally tell you both. But when you are told that lines are parallel, hopefully you're immediately thinking about three things. The first is that corresponding angles are equal. And again, remember the corresponding angles, depending on what the lines look like, can be in any shape. So turn your picture. We also have that alternate angles are equal and again you need to turn your shape in or you may need to turn your shape to see them. Co-interior angles if you remember add up to 180 degrees they are not equal to each other but they equal 180 and again have a look for those co-interior shapes. Now we could start to fill in some things but as I look further at my given I'm told about the size of an angle so instead of using markings like I've done in my memories over here I'm actually going to put that Z2 is 37 so I locate Z2 and I say that angle is 37. Going through my memories I can remember vertically opposite angles are equal which makes Z4 37 so I fill that in onto my picture. I see if there's any information from the parallel lines, maybe alternate or corresponding angles, that will give me the size of Y3 because it is alternate with Z4 or corresponding with Z2. And again I have vertically opposite angles to work out why 4 is 37 degrees. I could start working with angles on a straight line but first I notice that X1 is 43 degrees so I fill 43 degrees in at X1. And I go with vertically opposite angles, I think about my parallel lines and alternate or corresponding angles and other vertically opposite angles. So now I'm going to start working with things that add up to 180 degrees. I'm going to have a look either inside this triangle or along the straight line or one of the other straight lines. And I'm going to say that Y2 is 100 vertically opposite angles allow me to fill in y5 and now I'm going to go around to all my other points again here I've got angles on a straight line or I can use co-interior angles adding up to 180 degrees to get z3 and z1 and again over here I can use many options to work out x2 or x4 I can use the interior angles of a triangle equal the opposite exterior angle I can use co-interior angles I can use angles on a straight line the bottom line is that x4 is 137 and x2 is also 137 degrees now they've actually asked me to work out the size of angle y4 if I locate y4 I see that I've already done that Okay, I've actually worked out every angle they could ask me to work out. But now I've got to go back and remember how I got that Y4 is 37. Because I need to explain this. It's almost like arguing a case in a court of law. So I start with statements and reasons. Y4 is in green, so it must have come from Z2. So I start by saying I know that Z2 is 37 because it was given to me. And then from Z2 I move towards Y4. I can either move to Y3 or to Z4. I've decided to move to Y3 and the reason that I can move from Z2 to Y3 is because corresponding angles are equal but they are only equal if the lines are parallel so you must say the lines are parallel. That means that Y3 is 37 and Y3 and Y4 are equal because they are vertically opposite angles which means that Y4 is 37. I hope this has given you some strategies to solve geometry questions.